here are faster or stronger and a great deal wilder than we are used to but they can't get past these guys it's one of the most awe-inspiring things I have ever seen yes well done he broke the stick he broke the stick <laughs> Mongolians are said to be born in the saddle and grow up on horseback. I'm mesmerized by the balance, strength, and power of man matched to horse. I am so tense right now. <laughs> okay. He got him just by the nose. That's impressive. Zenbenu. Yeah. Z yeah. <laughs> Zenbenu. Zenbenu. Khan's armies thundered into town, the opposition froze in terror. The Mongolians must have seemed like men possessed. I'll go get his hat. man. Wow. Okay. So I'm next. <laughs> None of these horses are used to being ridden, so each time is a bit like the first. I said these riders were tough. Take a look at that wooden saddle. The metal studs on the seat encouraged Genghis Khan's men to stand. This young friend of mine is riding the big race on Saturday. Great equestrian, <laughs> wonderful with the stick, and a great rider. So he's going to be our, our race boy on Saturday. Very exciting. And a little bit of a flirt. Uh huh. They've chosen this horse for Beck here to ride in the race. 
so it's important it's properly broken. I wonder how I'm going to get on riding a wild horse. I'm so excited. I'm really actually um, scared. It's kind of like a blind date to just get on a horse that you don't know and go for a ride. Uh, and as we all know, blind dates can be disastrous. So I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping there's, you know, like a Benjamin Bratt in the horse outfit out there somewhere. Be nice. It can be a fun day. Not buck me off. That would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so here I go. Until now, it's been all talk. Time to show this horse who's boss. The deep wooden saddle feels strange, quite different from the flat leather saddles I'm used to. But it's great to be on a horse again. Out here, it feels right. I feel safe with him today. His family are watching. They want me to enjoy my experience. On this saddle, you have to sit off to one side and kind of hang on. He tries to show me how to stand, but for now, I'm happy sitting. Mongolian nomads were once considered to be the most fearsome, most bloodthirsty warriors the world has ever known. I know them as gentle, welcoming, and kind. My new four friends are Adonchi Meg and Sensorin and Henneman and Mensina. And it's amazing the amount of conversation you can have when you don't speak the same language. I discovered much to my surprise last night, I had um, a Don't You Meg and, and a bunch of the children in my gear, and the children didn't know how to snap. And, which, you know, I found so shocking. And the thing that I realized today, I winked at Mensina, and he came up to me later and said, Julia, Julia sort of flagged me down and came up and went like this. Because <laughs> he doesn't know how to wink. But even two hours later, he wanted to return the gesture, which I thought was very sweet. And so now he does this big finger wink, <laughs> um, which is sweet. I love it all. It's, I think it's a really good lesson in um, human appreciation and observation because it makes you really look at a person, which sometimes we don't do. Uh, well, there's just a, I'll say this about this place, is there is um, a sense of happiness that seems to permeate everything. This place is kind of, maybe it's because there's a simplicity to life out here, uh, but it, it radiates. The people radiate, the land radiates. Even the sheep that I have to fight to get to the loo, they kind of... Everybody seems as though they're in the one place that they're supposed to be, and that shows. And I've been... I've woken up happy here every day, and I think it's because you feel that. Oh, my God, look at the moon. Wow. See? Happiness everywhere. That's amazing. Good sign for race day. <laughs> okay, now everybody has to sing, okay? Ring around the rose. The big day arrives. I entertain the kids while the men prepare for the race. Ashes, we all fall down. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Ring around the rose, it's pop, it's cold, it's ash, it's ash, we all fall down! <laughs> oh, new arrivals. Horse races are an amazing deal here. People come from miles around with their families and best horse.
Our race boy looks confident. This race is being held in Henmaday's honor. He's just been awarded one of the country's highest accolades, Outstanding Mongolian Herder of the Year. The jockeys limber up. The ceremonial dress is important. 